So they knew all about the sensu beans and just let us go on our way. They didn't even feel the need to kill us. So Vegeta and Trunks got stronger from that. Though. Don't go after him. Just leave him be. He'd finally become a Super Saiyan and regained his pride and confidence as a warrior. Getting beaten that badly was probably too much for him to take. Even Trunks, who defeated Frieza so easily, couldn't lay a finger on them. That's it, isn't it? No matter how strong Goku gets, there's no way we can win. Okay, here's the plan. You guys go to Goku's house, then move him to a different location immediately. Before we do anything else, we need to make sure <laughs> Goku gets better. Uh, so, uh, right. What are you gonna do, Piccolo? <laughs> Fuse with Kami. What's gotten into Piccolo all of a sudden? Uh, he went that way. Uh, okay, I think I get it. He's got one final trick up his sleeve. One final trick? What do you mean? So, you know what's in that direction, right? Huh? I'm not really sure. Kami's what are you place. trying to say? That's Kami's place. And? Mm. What does that have to do with anything? It's when I was back on Planet Namek, I spoke to Guru. He told me that if Kami and Piccolo hadn't separated, they'd be as powerful as a Saiyan. <laughs> so, I'm betting that Piccolo's gonna combine with Kami and go back to being his true warrior self. But wait, if Kami ceases to exist as he is now, won't the Dragon Balls disappear too? Uh, but if either of them dies separately, well then the same thing's gonna happen anyway, so Piccolo probably feels like this is our best shot at taking down an enemy yeah, this Kami powerful. Sees but what about my pa I, I mean, what about Vegeta? What do you think he's up to? Relax, there's no need to hide Yeah, he spilled the beans a long time. I mean, we already know that you're Bulma's kid, all grown up and from the future. Vegeta's the only one who doesn't know. What? Uh, oh, uh, I see. I'm sorry for hiding it from you. Hey, no need to apologize. I'm going to meet up with Chaozu. If things get hairy again, I'll be back. Gotcha. We're gonna get Goku and take him to Master Roshi's place, okay? Okay. Make sure you tell Goku not to overdo it. Right. <coughs> we'll tell him. Nice trunks. Overdo it, huh? Yeah, of all the times not to overdo it, now would actually be the time. The androids in my timeline were in no way that powerful. Has history really been altered that much? So they're a lot stronger. Practically stronger than Super Saiyans. The first two were weak as hell. There it is! That's Goku's house! Uh, hello? Oh, I thought I heard someone. Krillin, is that you? I was hoping Gohan had come back. Trunks, let me introduce Goku's wife. This is Chi Chi. Huh? Who are you? I don't think I've seen you before. Hey, Chi Chi. Pleased to meet you. Krillin, you're all right. Oh, I was worried sick about you guys. Oh, Yamcha. How's Goku? Are there any changes? He's fine. He took his medicine. And now he's sleeping. So you're the guy from the future, huh? Oh, yeah. You're the one that beat the androids, right? <laughs> no. Sorry, but we'll fill you in later. First, we need to move Goku to Master Roshi's place, and fast! What's going on? Two. Actually, three scary androids are on their way here, and they're after Goku! Oh, no, that's not good! All right, it's all packed up. Now we just wait for Gohan. There he is! Huh? What's everyone doing here? Did did something happen? We'll tell you on the way. Just get in. How did they even get there before he did with them? Come on, tell us. Have any leads just yet? Do you have any idea where Goku is? 
Didn't you hear me before? It's more fun this way, taking our time and hunting him down. Regardless, we should still have some kind of game plan. Hey, 16, what about you? You know something, right? Goku's house is located in the mountains in East District 439. Mm -hmm. So you did know something. You're just full of surprises. Did Dr. Giraud tell you that? Affirmative. If we fly, we should arrive in a matter of minutes. I know, right? See, this guy gets it. Traveling on foot is a complete waste of time when you're capable of flying. You're such a whiner. It's gonna be more fun this way. <sighs> you know what? You can be a real pain in the neck, 17. He has a gun. That's fine. We're just about at Master Roshi's place. Hey, Krillin. Yeah? We should probably let Bulma in on everything that's happening, don't you think? Uh, yeah, you're right. So, what does that mean I have to call her? Uh, man. You know, your mom isn't exactly easy to talk to sometimes. <laughs> She's the same in my time, too. Hmm. Uh, Bulma? It's, uh, it's Krillin. Krillin? You're all right? Why didn't you tell me before? Is my son, oh, my future son, there? Huh? Oh, uh, yeah. Why? What's up? Well, I heard from headquarters that we got a call a few days ago from someone out west in the countryside. They said they found a strange vehicle in the mountains that had Capsule Corporation written on the side uh -oh. of it. I got them to send me a photo, which I then tried to match with the database of our products to see who it might belong to. But it didn't match anything I could find. I thought Trunks might know something about it. It's covered in moss and it looks really old. Would you mind taking a look for me? I'll send you a pic. That's my time machine. Wait, this is... Yeah. It's definitely the time machine yeah, I man. came here in. <laughs> but how is that possible? I've got my time machine right here with my other capsules. I thought this might be a time machine, but what's it doing in a place like that? Do you know the exact location of the time machine? It's outside Ginger Town. Well, not the exact location, but I do know that it's somewhere out in West District 1050. You headed there? Yes, I'd like to see it for myself. Then I'm coming too. We can meet up near the machine's location. I'd like to help you look for it too. Is that okay? <gasps> of course. Thank you. Go on. Go on. Don't worry, Mom. We're not going anywhere dangerous. We'll be safe. <laughs> More random experience. Um, Trunks? Yeah? I was wondering, is... Is the future really all that bad? It is. Humanity has been reduced to only tens of thousands of people. That's terrible! You're both here. So this is the time machine you were talking about? Yeah, that's right. Here, I'll take out my time machine. Check it out. This is the time machine I came in. As you can see, it's identical to the other one. But this one looks like it's been here for a really long time. 
Looks like something made this hole by melting the dome from the inside. Let's take a look inside. What? What's this? Ew! What is it? I... I'm not sure. What's it doing in the time machine? This is... some sort of egg, isn't it? <sighs> What's going on? It's not just this egg that confuses me, though. Huh? I looked at the onboard panel and happened to see when this time machine left. What do you mean? Obviously, it's from the same time as you, right? Actually, it's from even further in the future. Three years after I left. Three years? And that's not all. The panel showed that it arrived here four years ago. Damn. A year before he even killed so Frieza. This thing arrived here one year before I did. What's going on? Why did this thing come here? I thought the reason the two androids, Goku, and the others fought were different. And the reason history had changed so much was because of my coming here. But this... It's possible this thing might actually be the cause of all the changes. Okay. So it's not all Trunks' fault. It's it's mostly Trunks' fault. Wait, what's that? What's what? It's kinda everyone's fault. <laughs> oh, it's just I was wondering what that is. Ah, what on earth oh my is God. it? sort of exoskeleton gross an exoskeleton is it from some sort of mutant bug or something i bet that's what was inside the egg we found in the time machine right it probably grew too big for its skin and then and then shed it but how did it end up in this time period either someone placed the egg in the time machine or they came here carrying it. Uh, uh, hey! You guys got a bad feeling about this too, right? Yeah. Then uh, we'd better hurry up and get out of here. You guys are gonna be at Kame House, right? I'll call you if something happens, okay? Right, uh, thanks. Ginger Town gets sucked I... into oblivion. What's going on? I'm so confused. The mysteries just keep piling up. All right. Kami looked down in both amazement and fear as Gohan and the others discovered the mysterious exoskeleton. Just as Kami had feared. A towel oh, yeah. that was near the exoskeleton was getting a taste of that terror. Trunks and Krillin made their way to the town to investigate. Aware of the coming disaster, Kami accepted his fate and prepared to make the ultimate sacrifice. It seems my time has come. Time for me to provide my assistance as a warrior rather than a guardian. What Earth needs now is not a watchful eye from above, but a powerful new defender. Then, around the same time, Piccolo, filled with a greater sense of determination after the fight with the androids, made his way to Kami's lookout. Bio-Android Fiend from the future. I can't believe I'm actually going to see that old prune. Incredible. Kami, I assume you know why I'm here. That I do, Piccolo. Though I am Earth's guardian, I stand powerless before the threat to obliterate it. There's nothing more vexing. All right. Then you're ready to do this? To become one again? Of course. 
Though I am not without my doubts, I'll have you know. After all that's happened, don't tell me you're scared. Well, if I am, would you be capable of alleviating that fear? What? A long time ago, in my ignorance, I allowed evil to take root in my heart. Those who walk the path of darkness are fated to become demons. This was demonstrated by my other half, King Piccolo. Were I to repeat the same mistake after our fusion, the resulting catastrophe would far eclipse the android menace. <laughs> Skip to the point, old man. Why do you hesitate? Spit it out. Hmm. Well, your forthright resolve certainly gives me a bit of hope. Very well. Answer me this, Piccolo. Is now truly the time for this fusion? Should we not observe the situation a little longer? What do you mean? Wait. Is there something else at play? Something I don't know about? I see you, too, falter before this unknown potential for peril. Wh what? I shall ask you once more, Piccolo. Is now truly the time for this future? <laughs> Should we not observe the situation a little longer? Oh, come on. Whatever foe stands before us, we will defeat it. It's that simple. I see. Then allow me to ask you one more question. Once we merge, the Dragon Balls will be lost. <laughs> well, what of your resolve now? That was already... The Dragon Balls aren't an issue. If I fight as I am now, I'll be killed. You'll disappear, and the Dragon Balls disappear too. They're gone either yeah. way. So, if we need to send those murder machines to the compactor, we need to take a stand now. I see. Your reasoning is sound. Very well, Piccolo. To one flesh and one spirit we shall return. It seems my time has come. Time for me to provide my assistance as a warrior rather than a guardian. That's right. Earth needs extra power. It seems like I'm the one that's going to provide that. Very well. I will lend my body to you. <laughs> Call me! I'm going to be the base. Got it. Indeed. I will provide you with nothing more than a power boost and my vast knowledge. Once on the surface, head to Ginger Town. There is a monster there That's wreaking hilarious. havoc. You'll learn all the other details once we combine, as you will have access to everything that I know. Got it. Thank you for everything. Mr. Popo. Farewell, Kami. Please, don't die. I am neither Kami <laughs> nor Pick. I am a Namekian who's forgotten his true name. Right. I'm off. This thing that's killing all these people. Who or what could it possibly be? Oh yeah, everybody's been drained. It's not good. Mm, now this is more like it. Decided to show your face, monster? <laughs> Goku's energy from this creature, and Vegeta and Frieza's too. 
What the hell are you? Oh, you don't need to know that. All you need to know is that I'm going to enjoy you as my next meal, Demon King Piccolo. Hmm? How do you know my name? Like I said, there's no need for you to know. Now prepare to be devoured. I see. So you're not gonna talk, huh? You've got the wrong Namekian. Sorry to disappoint. Believe it or not, I think I'm actually kind of glad you rid the town of all of its residents. And why is that? Because now I don't have to hold back. Just be like, pull Goku and say, we're not fighting. Guess I'll do this the hard way. Just have to beat the answers out of you. Although I still have yet to achieve my perfect form. Perfect form? To achieve your perfect form? I turn the rest into energy. And that energy makes me stronger. Oh no, he's draining me. He's absorbing my health. No. I dodged it, no way. Oh no, he's draining me again. That's some bullshit. Frieza's energy. I suppose I might as well tell you, seeing as how you'll be dead soon enough. <laughs> I'm an android, you see, and you can call me by my name. Cell. Dr. Giro created me in a lab on his computer. Huh? Dr. Giro again? Long ago, Dr. Giro gathered the genetic material from the strongest fighters in the world to create me, the ultimate android. But it took too long, so he abandoned the project. Fortunately, his computer picked up where he left off and continued his research. Cells from Goku, Piccolo, Vegeta, and even Frieza and his father were collected when they arrived on this planet. Using a tiny bee-sized spy robot created by Dr. Giro, the computer already has enough cells to begin its research. But the process is slow, and it will take 24 years to complete. Impossible. We completely destroyed Dr. Giro's laboratory. The computer is located in an underground facility deep beneath his laboratory. You mean it took you three years after arriving here to go from an egg to that? Once I revert to an egg, I must bury myself underground for three years. There my form matures. I see. One final question. I have to know, why here? Why this time period? Dr. Giro's computer informed me that my evolution will morph two different life forms before I achieve perfection. 
And those two life forms are Android 17 and 18. What? Unfortunately, despite searching far and wide, I had quite a problem locating those pesky androids. It seems they were nowhere to be found in my era. But in a stroke of luck, I learned that Trunks had a time machine. So I used my magnificent skills and abilities to kill Trunks and steal his time machine. Then I used it to travel here to find the androids. <laughs> But why this point in history? And Trunks had already programmed the time. I just pressed a switch and the machine did the rest. Oh, I think I'm getting it now. Trunks was able to defeat the androids in his future and program the time machine for this time to come and tell us. That's not all the computer told me. It is said the moment I achieve my perfect form, I will acquire a power beyond all comprehension. Thanks for helping me solve this little mystery. But you're not getting that perfect form of yours. Piccolo! <sighs> Drunks, what's he doing here? Ah, he used the time machine. How very clever of him. So, so this is the guy who attacked all those people in Ginger Town? He must be the thing that left the exoskeleton near the time machine. You've got that right. I'll fill you in on the details later. First things first, we need to squash this bug. <sighs> now may not be the best time to battle. Very well, but know this. Android 17 and 18 will be mine. So... <laughs> No! He's gone! No! He got away! Damn, I can't get a trace on him. 